What's up nerds? Nerd Locker here with some trailer trash talk and first up we have the ABCs of death. Or as I like to say, los A, B, y C de lo muerto. C. This looks pretty interesting. It's 26 shorts, each representing a letter of the alphabet and... Wait, so we're watching close? <laughs> Just kidding. Back to ah! Either way, 26 shorts, each uh, representing a letter of the alphabet and uh, someone dying in accordance to each letter. I think it looks interesting. I don't know how long the movie's gonna be. That's yeah. uh, it'll be it'll it. probably be pretty short. I think all these will probably be like five minutes five long. Minutes. Yeah. yeah. Something something pretty short. But it looks pretty fun. Looks like a fun action, crazy thrill horror ride, but And know. it looks like there's some interesting stuff in there. It looked like some uh, claymation stuff going on in there and I mean it looks like your wide range of it looks like an exorcism, a serial killer, there was a robot. There were furries. Awesome. There were furries, there were furries, which is always weird to me. But yes, you know, um, some people. Are in there's there. 26 directors involved in this, so that means that there's definitely chances that not every single one of these is going to be enjoyable. But so I don't, it's going to be interesting. I don't think it's supposed to be enjoyable. I think it's supposed to be discomforting. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, think that's the whole I point. Mean, of but that. I mean, I think this is kind of cool. You get maybe some people who don't have their name out there. There were a couple of directors listed in movies I've seen, like uh, Tokyo Gore Police. He's on there. Um, Hobo with a shotgun. Yes. So what I cool. think is interesting about it is that there are only twenty five directors so far, so they're looking for the twenty sixth one. Or maybe they have it and they just haven't announced it. It's there. It's like Ace in the Sleep. Well, my guess Steven is that it's Spielberg. like a fan. Now the 26th director. director. That actually be so. really cool. That'd be kind like of cool, Ron, especially if and Ron Howard. Especially he did, <laughs> he did the first movie. Yeah. 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 Oh, he did the Martin one. Scorsese. So no, Ron Howard. Ron Howard would be funnier. Yes. Whatever. I ruined that joke. I do that a lot around here. You did. Anyways, this, is like my fifth cup of this looks oh. awesome. I can't wait to see it, and I know Brandon's really excited for it too. Haley, not so much. Let us know what you guys think though. All right, guys, next up we saw Admission, which is a new Tina Fey and Paul Rudd movie. Kind of romantic comedy. <laughs> but I mean, right, right there, I'm in. I'm, I'm yes. game. Like, yes. I saw the poster and I was like, well, I'm watching this movie. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter Thank what you for about. showing me the trailer. I didn't hear, and yeah. on top of that, though, it's from the director of About a Boy, which is even more awesome. So that means I you're going to cry, and it's going to be like and so you're gonna heartwarming, laugh. and you're going to laugh. You're gonna fall in love with the You're not going to know what to do with yourself. Oh, it's going to be awesome. But yeah, I mean, I when we. It's a, you see Tina Fey and Paul Rudd, and I'm like, done. I'll mm -hmm. we'll see it regardless. I don't care what it's about at this point. It's going to be good. doesn't even matter. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see that because I love both of them, but they've never been in a movie together, I don't believe. I don't think so. I don't remember seeing them. So I bought their chemistry just from the poster. Yeah, you felt it. I it was felt there. it. With a stamp on his face, and she was uh, holding it, was like, it oh, and he was like, Deep denied, denied on the date, you're not dating me. Except I bet she's not going to deny it. I bet they're going to make gonna out at the end of the movie and everything's going to be happy. It's going to be happy. We're not going to cry. Or it's like a really sick, twisted ending. He's going to have cancer. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. She's denying his cancer. Wow, then. Yeah, it's because this movie's know. directed by Lars von Trier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Yeah, we got dark there. <laughs> Anyways, this looks awesome as well. I think it's going to be like an instant classic. Looks great. Yeah. I'm down. So. Next up, we have Warm Bodies, and boy, was that not what I thought this was going to be about. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, we still got a uh, zombie love movie, which was almost what I thought it was. Never mind. All I had was, all I had was like, the Predator, like a movie in the Predator vision the entire time. So all you're seeing is warm bodies just walking around. It's warm bodies. Just warm bodies. Bye. Um, this... It kind of feels like we are officially squeezing the zombie that's, genre dry. That's actually I what I thought when I first saw the trailer. I was like, oh, another zombie movie? But I like that it's a different twist on it. I think that's what makes like, it... Like instead of making it, hey, I'm going to well, make... Well, then it, you, it's a zombie make, who can actually think and communicate. Well, it's, you see it through the, the one... Yeah, you see it through his eyes. He doesn't remember stuff. He just knows that he's dead. And then mm -hmm. he sees this girl... He falls in love and his heart starts beating again. And the more in love he gets, the more his heart's going. Yeah. And it it's a love infection. On. No, oh, and that's a yeast cooties. infection. Cooties. Okay. It's cooties. They all have cooties in this movie. That's but like, but very um, interesting terms. <laughs> um, Anyways, this looks really, really awesome. I think yeah. it's really cool. I think it's going to be yeah. a different take on, on something we've seen 
literally a million times yeah. and it's you know it's, what i'm most interested to see because you, you see the beginning of it like it's just a quick clip of it but the zombies going in to attack the humans i'm really interested to see how that scene gets set up from a zombie perspective like mm. that's the most yes. that that's the one part of this trailer that i was like whoa like that looks neat but i'll definitely see it i yeah i, I feel like I haven't wanted to see zombie movies for a while, and, and this is uh, the first time that I've gone. Oh, you know, what? I'm actually going to theater. And for his, this his one. best friend in the movie, um, Rob Corddry. Yeah, come and on. And the man. fact that the main character is Tony Stoneham from Skins. That's that's why I want to see it. I mean, he's an amazing actor. So, yeah, let's do it. Let's watch this movie. It's not a porn. Next trailer is Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3D. Whoa! Oh my God, because. Because you need that. You do. You need this in the third dimension. Yeah. I'm not excited for this. <laughs> I'm not going to watch this movie. I'm, I'm not either. I'm not I was made to either. watch the re... Like, I like the, first, the original. The original is awesome. I the love the original. Like a classic movie. But, like, I had to... I was forced to watch, like, the remake. And I With, uh, really hate that girlfriend now. I really hate that ex-girlfriend. Yeah. Because she really made me watch something. I, I just... I, I, I'll agree with Jim on this one because Jim, I know, loves this movie and we've talked about it before, but I love the first one. And that is it. Like, the other ones I'll watch and I'll like, oh my God. Like, okay, cool. Like, someone's getting killed. Like, but that's all I'll watch it for. I, I just don't understand why we keep going the only reason you watch this. any horror movie ever? Yeah, I guess. But, it, I mean, the first one actually, like, left me feeling like unsettled like it was it was disturbing like, to it was watch like porn. i was like ugh like, like that murder porn that it's illegal yeah well wait what porn? either way um <laughs> i just i i haven't really seen a texas chainsaw since the very first one that had me going wow like that was good so i don't and what is he it looks like they're out of like rural Middle of nowhere, Texas, in this. Like, well, a, you know what's more it's terrifying? Like a college. You know what's well, more terrifying like than taking a road house. trip? Freaking chainsaws in college, man. <laughs> what if we what if, leather, oh. what if we just retitle this one? Leatherface goes to college. <laughs> he joins a fraternity. That would be actually a really cool around. poster if it was just Leatherface with a white background and it says Leatherface goes to college. <laughs> like with a like, graduation cap on. Yeah, 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 like, that'd be really funny. I'd be down to watch Leatherface oh. kill a whole cool. fraternity no. and sorority. F it. But that's not what this Come one's on. gonna be. So no, it's not. It's gonna be like chainsaws in your face. I could be. Oh yeah, because you, you know, there's gonna be and blood in gonna your face. Because what'll happen is, is I won't see this in theaters in 3D. I'll wait till it ends up on Netflix in 2D, mm -hmm. and you'll be watching it and just seeing all the shots that were supposed to be three dimensional. You like throws You're this like, thing. You're like, 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 You're like oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. if I was in 3D, that would have been boring. That would have been stupid. Anyways, we should stop talking about this because it looks dumb. Tell us how much you're gonna hate this too. Next up, we have got Movie 43 with a lot of actors. I don't even yeah, know how they got all these a people huge involved ensemble in cast. one movie. Yeah, it looks awesome, actually. Yeah, it looks I, really, really, really funny. It looks really offensive. It looks really, really looks still, offensive. Uh, offensive. Uh, dark. Offensive is the best reason yes. want, like, offensive. to watch this movie. There's, there's talk of defecation on people. <laughs> there's talk of genitals a lot. Uh, there's talk of race. <laughs> the, there's def the Terrence Howard scene. Like, I there's some watch. really funny stuff I just want to see here. that whole part of the movie. Gerard Butler is a... a Leprechaun? Leprechaun, <laughs> yes. That's cool. Uh, There's, you, got, you got the Dukes of Hazard reunion with that, with uh, Sean William Scott and Johnny Knoxville. Johnny Knoxville. But then you also have, like, the dirtiest, like, argument ever with Emma Stone and Kieran uh, yeah, Culkin. Kieran Culkin? Yeah. Which, I'm awesome. fine. Hey, listen here, Emma Stone, you want to talk... I want to know dirty. how... You want to talk dirty. Don't talk to Brandon, because he's going to be like, ooh, that was awesome. Talk to me. I want to know so how fun. Kate Winslet got involved in this. I'm really interested to see her part. And talk there's still... I don't know what she's talking about. I'm just taking a dark turn again. Um, no, I, I, I think she's, she's, I don't know. She's a great actress, and she's always no, done just, really, really cool. Think the most, no, she's done really cool, like funny things. Did yeah. you ever see extras? She's on yes, extras, extras and she's hilarious show. on extras because she's like the biggest I have to bitch say, in the, the world. The most That's offensive. Awesome. Scene is the one Halle Berry's in, and I can't wait to see how that plays out. Yeah. That's the most offensive to you? Absolutely. Most, she blows that's up the, the most blind kid's candles. Like someone just, asking someone to poop on them is not that <laughs> offensive? All right, Brandon, you need to get your priorities Well, straight. I guess I s didn't really think that one through. Anyways, me. anyways. I've had too much. I can't even Check this out. Let us know what you guys think. I think this is going to be great, and I can't wait to see this. Okay.
No more caffeine. Well, I have my mug back, and we have one more trailer to talk about. All superheroes must die. Yes, it. Uh, the trailer that we saw, it's called Versus, but it is not Versus. It's actually going to be called All Superheroes Must Die, yes. and it pretty much that's the concept. It's it's. Like Crazy it's like a comic book. Villain. It looks like straight up like a comic book. A Dexter's super villain dad. that's trying to have his like one final stand just to kind of piss off his main heroes. Either uh, kill them just, all or destroy the city. Yeah, he's exactly. Win at the end of this. either way, he's winning, and they have to kind of play his game, and it looks awesome. Like yeah, I really uh, want this movie to have a from bad the, ending. It's got the guys from the FP. If you saw that movie, it is great, and I'm interested to see if any of that. Humor translates into this dark humor. I like I, the one thing that really stood out to me, and it's something that if you watch the FP, you really don't get because it seems like it's taking itself too seriously. Like it's really cheesy. It's really cheesy, and it's, oh, it's not supposed to be taking itself no. seriously. But this movie, yeah. it has that like overtone. Like, if I can finish a sentence, yeah, yeah I can. Sometimes I can actually say the word. I've had a lot of coffee. Um, yeah, so shut up. Uh, it just has that coffee, kind of. Brandon. Man, I don't need two people talking to me. <laughs> Uh, it just has this great sense of, of, of low budgetness that makes it feel really real. Like it's someone just walking around with a DV camera like f filming these guys and it just happens to be HD and awesome looking and yeah. I don't know. It, I, it I does think it looks feel, a lot of the shots they feel like that. Like I that. actually, that was what I didn't like about it. But well, then that's, 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 that's the phone snob in me. It kind of like but... reminded me of the way Chronicle looked and the, the way it's like Chronicle's a, a someone like telling the story like from the first person perspective, I mean it's third person, but like like right there, you see the story as it's unfolding, this is how that looks, and it looks really gritty and dark and I love it. Yeah, generally that's a good idea. Didn't like it in this one. Well, I don't know. I'm, so, well, well guess what, it's probably gonna be the best movie, and she what hasn't made a movie like that. What did sell me so. was, I can't remember his name, Dexter's dad. Um, Ajax I, from the Warriors. definitely, yeah. definitely Warriors. made me actually interested in going to see it, because he is incredible. And yeah, I mean, he looks like a. a I buy, I buy like him a as a bad guy. Villain. You have a, you have an old man crush guy. on him, don't you? You got an old man crush. You're, you're getting a little older a little man right now. Look, yeah. look at her little smile. Into you. Look at her. Older oh, guys. So. <laughs> she likes. Ajax. Watch out for this one. Haley and Ajax sitting <laughs> in a tree. K I S S I N G. Let us know what you think of this movie. Well, that is all the trailer trash talk we have for you. Uh, until next week, check us out on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. And nerdlocker.com for all your nerdy news. My name is Brandon. I'm Haley. And I'm Cubby. And we will see you soon for more Trailer Trash Talk. You sounded really happy. And about I can't that. drink any more coffee when we do this because.